Welcome back again, people of YouTube, to Windborn. Now, we just finished off a mission for placing these walls. Got some more uh, granite, uh, granite marble stuff being made, so we'll finish off the walls when we get back, but we might as well go get our next task. Um, which is a chest. Okay. Not what I thought it would be, but good enough. And, of course, this is one of those missions where it would have taught us the chest had we not already known it. So I am, again, a little disappointed that it gave us that recipe earlier. But, whatever. Anyway, uh, let's get some of this marble. And how many more walls we're gonna need? Like six. Um. After that, we need a chest. Wait for these to finish. What do we need for the chest? We need some iron, which we do have a little of right now, but we should go looking for more soon. Anyway, finish placing these. And we've got our walls built. So anyway, iron. Uh, oh, I completely forgot about our ceramics. About the extra ceramics. Anyway, iron ore. Uh, it takes three to make one bar, as you can see here. So we're only getting about two, but we only need the one right now. But uh, we will definitely be going to look for more iron soon. I feel like. Furnace. Um, make ourselves a highborn chest. We'll stick that like. I don't know, right here. Um, don't need to... There's ten different items into the chest. Uh, complete. I can't... haven't really placed items into the chest. But I will... do that. Um, some extra crap over here. Uh, keep that. Don't need the step. Don't need this. I don't really need coal just yet. Um, the ceramics can stay here. The iron can stay here. I'll keep the blade on me, and I do. We'll probably need that ingot soon. Um, anyway, turn in the mission. And, mm, torches. Mm, we will be needing coal. Um, what's the recipe for torches? Yeah, we're going to be needing a decent bit of coal, so let's go do that first. Actually, first, what did we learn? Highborn Roof, which I do believe is another thing that it will teach us when we get to that mission. So again, another wasted item. Um, what are we getting? We're getting coal. Well, I don't know, let's go jump off the side of an island or something. What? There we go. Cool. I want some gold, but I'm not going to really focus on that right now because, again, I don't know if much of any use for gold. Um, yeah, get a decent chunk of coal. Um, really outside of torch- well, no, there are some recipes that use coal dust, which we'll get to eventually, but outside of that, torches, coal not too useful. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that just is in here that doesn't have uses yet, but not really talking about coal, and I guess, right now for that. But, like, the gold, and I think there's dyes, but you can't dye anything, so I don't think you can. A few things I should test that on. But, um, like banners and things, we'll see eventually. Oh, found some iron, let's grab that while we're here. There's a lot of stuff in these places. But, uh, mostly we just needed a decent chunk of coal to start ourselves off with for the torches. So now that we have that, let's go back. Um, in fact, I'll probably be using these torches for one of the easy ways of uh, getting recipes. Um, 
what do I need? I need wood. I'm gonna need five wood. Come on. Ah. Okay, game does weird things from time to time. Like make it impossible to move things. Anyway, you put wood back into the refiner, you get wood sticks. I don't know about fine or superb and whether or not they give you more sticks, but I probably wouldn't do that either way. Anyway, we got almost 20 wood sticks. Cool. Now we can make ourselves some torches. Just kind of spam it again. It'll stop at 20, it only has enough materials for that. Um, and unfortunately, we do have to stay in the inventory screen for this to continue crafting. If I leave to go do something, it'll stop. So the things when we um, when we craft a lot of things, we're pretty much just gonna have to sit here and look at this go. But uh, yeah, not too bad. Um, so I don't know. Let's start by lighting up my house, maybe. I don't know. Um, it doesn't get too dark in the game, but you gotta place torches, so. Anyway, um, that's good, and because I have something I want to show with these, I'm just gonna kind of do that thing where I... Okay, I can't seem to find the torch. Do that thing where I place them down and then pick them back up again. Ah. Um, but yes. After this, we will go look at a fairly easy way to get recipes. Is that 20? Yeah. Um, we'll go turn this in first, so we'll need to see if we. So we'll see if we need to collect anything new or not while we're out doing it. Um, jeez, I place torches everywhere. Uh. Soon we'll have these cleaned up and we are good. Um, ugh, stuck on a wall. Ah, there we go. I can walk. Definitely, definitely walking's amongst my skills. Ah, uh, but anyway, we are heading off towards the forest. Um, see if we have any problems getting there. We might. Looks like we might at least maybe have some trouble getting back. I'm not gonna make it. Oh well. Um. Whoa. Ugh, so many holes to fall down. A little gold down there. Uh, mostly just gonna cut myself a staircase. And. Is there anywhere slightly lower? Because it'd be nice not to have to dig all the way up, but eh, looks like that's what we're going to be doing. So, um, basically, ah, uh, I'll try to explain this while we get ahead there. In the forest, there are these things called jinn, and they will trade with you. You can you give them a crafted item and they will give you a recipe. Um, also, it uh, it turns out you can give them recipes for recipes, uh, which becomes useful when you've gotten all of a certain type. Like if you get all the common highborn recipes, they'll still try to give you new ones, but you won't be able to use these scrolls because you've learned them all. So you can trade them those scrolls. As far as I can tell, they exchange for equal value scrolls. So you trade them a common scroll, they'll give you another common one. Usually of a different set, but sometimes you will get the same one back. But anyway, let us go find some gin.
and trade with them. Um, Jin, uh, I was talking about, I think it was in the first episode, how this method has a bit of a cooldown time. And Jin, from my experience, trade with you about three times before they have nothing left to give you. Uh, however, they will still take your items. You just won't get anything for it. So, try to keep track of how much you've given a gen. Here's some. Uh, uh, but uh, eventually, they will have more stuff. So, uh, uh, try to remember to come and trade with gen every once in a while. Maybe, like, every other episode or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Might even do that stuff off screen. Uh, but, anyway. So, if I go up to this gen, it'll run away from me. But,. If okay, that is very annoying. Needs to be fixed. Anyway, uh, our torch just dropped through the ground. Let's try dropping it again. There we go. That time it didn't fall to the earth, and the Jin will come up and uh, look at it. He'll be extremely happy about it, and he'll stick it in his pocket. Then, in return, he'll give me a recipe, which is actually really nice for what I gave him. I worn sofa. Can't say I've seen that one before. Anyway, so let us trade. Or throw items to the ground. Okay, really big issue when it comes to trading with the Jin. Because items just keep dropping to the ground. Let's try this again. There, that time it stuck. And is the Jin going to go look at it? Here, you want one? There. You can look at that one. I'm not going to have to worry about overdoing it with these two because that is, ooh, a runestone item. Runestone foundation. It took me forever to learn that last time. Um, here, have another torch. Or not. Okay, I'm starting to think it's the angle I'm doing this at. But, uh, we learned a couple new things. But yeah, so... Whenever I get a chance. Why the heck? Oh, those are my torches. So I was gonna say, things got a weird glowiness over here. I didn't really use torches last time I played, so. Kinda weird looking. Um. Ah, right. We completed a thing, so let's turn it in. Okay, so it wants us to craft a fine highborn shrine. That is going to require emeralds, which seems we haven't found a artifact chest yet, which it isn't always going to contain emeralds, but uh, we are going to have to find gemstone. However, the I'm starting to run a bit out of time, so we might not get to it. We'll start looking for it, and if we find it, uh, find it, we will dig it up, but I don't think we're going to get any further than that. For now. Um, lots of good stuff down here. Not what I'm looking for. Ah, here we go. Gemstone. Um, this stuff, you basically refine. Just like other stuff. Um, and it can turn into, I think it's, ugh, I forget what the common variant is, it's used in runestone structures mostly, a couple other things, but, uh, mostly runestone structures. Anyway, um, but then the fine variant is the emeralds, and the superb variant is Uh, sapphires which are used in the next level of shrines superb shrines anyway we are just about out of time so um I don't know probably stop here we really could use more gemstones before I go back because it's I mean, we might get two emeralds from this but we're gonna want more 
uh, especially if we end up not getting two emeralds from this, but uh, also more emeralds for the other types of shrines, and eventually sapphires, but, uh, oh, well, this will be an interesting thing to end the episode off with, or maybe, hmm, how about next time we start with looking through what's in this uh, artifact chest, and that 